Welcome to another episode of TK's Two Cents. I am TK Coleman, and today I'm going to talk about refusing to be a patsy or a doormat. Let's dive in with the first tweet. Taking responsibility does not equal being a patsy. What does it mean to be a patsy? A patsy is someone that is easily manipulated or victimized. A patsy is a pushover. A patsy is the kind of person whom you can do something wrong, you can do something completely foolish, and then you can turn around and manipulate a patsy into allowing you to pin the blame on him. The last thing you ever want to be in life is a patsy. It's hard enough to take responsibility for your own mistakes, your own failures, your own needs. And the last thing you ever want to do in life is let other people manipulate you into taking responsibility for bad things that you didn't do, for taking ownership of things that are not consistent with your priorities and your principles. It's one thing for you to voluntarily choose to take responsibility for the wellness of your children, the wellness of your family. One thing for you to take responsibility for the happiness of your customers, but it is an entirely different thing for you to allow other people to do stupid things and then turn around and manipulate you into taking the blame as if you were the one that did the stupid thing. What does that have to do with taking responsibility? Well, there's a very popular phrase going around today, and that phrase is stop being a victim. And I want to talk about this phrase because I think it has good intentions behind it. I think it has a lot of value to offer us, but I think it is often expressed with a lack of nuance that causes unnecessary confusion and unnecessary stress amongst the people that the statement is designed to help. Stop being a victim. This is kind of like the knee jerk default response that is given to anyone who complains about people that are creating problems in their life. Someone says, I didn't get a job because that person didn't like me. That person didn't like me because of my gender or because of my race or because of some other feature that should not have been considered when evaluating my capacity to perform the task on the job. And people say these sorts of things. Stop being a victim. Stop being a victim. And usually the phrase stop being a victim is followed up with a statement like take responsibility for your life. Now, let's talk about why the phrase stop being a victim is good before I offer a counterpoint to it. The reason that this phrase is good is because even when other people do things that are wrong, things that negatively affect you, the onus is still on you to be the one to do whatever it takes to find a solution, to find a way of coping with it, to find a way of innovating around it. You will never get anywhere in life by depending on a strategy that says, I'm going to sit back and complain about my problems and hope that someone else swoops in and saves me. The only way that you move your life forward is by saying, it's up to me to respond to whatever I am going through from a place of power. And so wherever the phrase stop being a victim is getting at that, it's a good thing. But here's the flip side to it. Some people speak of being a victim as if it's synonymous with complaining about the problems in your life, as if it's synonymous with being real about the fact that other people sometimes do bad things to you or that other people sometimes treat you unfairly. And what I want to say to you is being a victim is not about complaining about the problems in your life. It's about allowing your life to be defined by those problems. You are not a victim because you say, hey, this guy over there is causing trouble for me. This guy over there is doing things that are unfair and it's creating complications in my life. That doesn't make you a victim. That makes you an honest person who has taken the first step to assuming responsibility for your life. Because if you're going to create changes in your life, you need to be able to honestly identify the areas that need change. If you're going to take ownership of creating the results that you want, you need to be honest in your life about the things that need to stop. And if someone is inserting unwanted things into your experience, you have to be able to recognize that because if you don't, you are being a patsy. You are being played. What makes you a victim is when you say, all right, that guy is doing something to me 
and I'm just going to sit back and take it and just hope that one day he stops. That's what makes you a victim. But you move from being a victim to being a responsible person when you say, I am going to use my frustration and my unhappiness as a means of motivating myself to create healthy boundaries that eliminate this toxicity from my relationship. I'm gonna put myself in a situation where I can develop the skills, develop the knowledge, develop the assertiveness to deal with these things that I don't like so that I can create the kind of life that I want. Now, why am I making this point today? I'm making this point because I want you to know that in your quest to take personal responsibility for your life, that you do not assume responsibility for the idiotic things that idiotic people do to you. There are two sides to the coin of personal responsibility. The first side is you have to take ownership of your choices, of your desires, and of your outcomes. The second side is refuse to be manipulated by people who do foolish things and who seek to pin those foolish things on you. If you want, if you want to be responsible, then take ownership of what you want to create but refuse to be anyone else's patsy. All right, let's go to tweet number two. Blessed is the individual who possesses the sense of dignity, self-respect, and courage to walk away. You want to know the formula for becoming a person who is easily manipulated, easily victimized. It's to send a signal to other people that says, no matter what you throw at me, I will take it because I'm too afraid to leave this relationship because I'm afraid to be alone because I don't think that I could ever make it without you because I don't think that I have the capacity to find my way through life without your support or without your approval. The moment you send that kind of message to people, you will be endlessly manipulated. All of your power comes from your ability to criticize by creating. And when I say criticize by creating, I mean to opt out of the relationships and systems that are not working for you and to exercise your power to create an alternative that reflects the person that you value being and that reflects the way you want to be treated. So many people allow themselves to be made miserable by staying around in situations that do not serve them, in situations that make them feel small, in situations that force them to compromise their principles, in situations that require them to be miserable in order to meet someone else's needs. Never, ever, ever allow yourself to do that because that is the essence of being a doormat. If you wanna live a fulfilling life, if you wanna live a free life, be good to other people. Understand that the people in your life are going to have imperfections and relationships are going to have their difficulties. And you don't just walk away every time someone is difficult to deal with. But you always have boundaries. You always have standards and you always let the people know in your life that some things are simply unacceptable. And if unacceptable things are ever done, feedback can be offered. But if people persist in doing those unacceptable things, you will exercise, exercise the dignity, the self-respect, and the courage to walk away. And when you are willing to do that, you will find that you won't actually have to walk away because the way people treat you when they know that you are willing to walk away is they will act like a person. They will act like someone that, uh, th they will treat you as if they want you to stay. I'll, I'll put it that way. So let, let me say that again. When you send a signal to people that you're willing to walk away, they will treat you like you are someone that they want to stay. So if you're afraid that by applying this idea, it'll put you in a situation where you never have any stability in your relationships because you're always just leaving every time there's a fight, it's actually the other way around. When you treat yourself with, res with respect, you set healthy boundaries, you're willing to speak up about the things that are not acceptable, your relationships actually start to get healthy and fun. It's only when you hold things in and you only say what you really think every once in a while after you've put up with a ton of manipulation that you blow up in these really dramatic ways that have the power to ruin relationships. When you command respect early and often, people will treat you with respect. Be willing to walk away, and that's what's gonna increase the likelihood that people will want you to stay. That's how you refuse to be a patsy. That's how you refuse to be a doormat, and those are two major keys to living freely. Thanks for tuning in. If you're listening, on the podcast, be sure to subscribe, 
be sure to give us a rating and be sure to leave any comments. If you're watching on YouTube, be sure to leave a comment letting me know what's something that you'd like to hear me talk about or give me additional thoughts on the things that I did talk about. Please be sure to hit the subscribe button, hit the like button and share this with a family member, a friend or anyone else who might benefit from hearing TK's Two Cents. Thanks for tuning in, everybody. Peace.